horribly organized. And uh, oh, this is the expand. Here's the extension, and then there's another uh, three or four counter sheets. What have we got? One. Oh, you know what? This has the maps. This has the extension maps. That's where they are. Yeah, here's two extension maps. I, I lied. So there's only two extension maps. It's uh, Adonara, Solar, and Loblen Island, and Marin's Island. It has an airfield on it, an airstrip on it, no less. And uh, one, two, six counter sheets. I've had a look at the extension rules. I, you know, really think it's just more of the same. Lots of complexity. But glad to see the uh, additional counters. There's probably some corrections there as well. Now, this is uh, this is interesting map because this kind of links things together. Uh, lets you do your allied off map movement. Starting from the US West Coast over here, you can move through depending on your class of vehicle. Vehicle ship, huh. naval vessel, as the case may be, right? So there's that. Now, lots of maps. And, um, you know, one thing I'm not seeing in here. Not seeing. <laughs> I am not seeing uh, some rule books and stuff. So I will have to uh, follow up with my buddy on that, unless it's buried in here somewhere. Okay, so let's see. Bering Sea. A lot of blue, right? Hey, Arctic. Arctic. Circle. One map. China. China. Japan. Down here in the corner. The USSR is brown. <laughs> Out of Mongolia is white terrain. And of course, the good stuff, the Philippines, Luzon, Indochina. This is going to be very, very interesting. India. And now, see, I did not know that India was included in the map. So there you go. That's an interesting little experiment. So it goes all the way across to that. It's going to have the whole uh, Burma conflict as well. So we're going to get to goof around with that. Here's a terrain. Uh, well, uh, key, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Australia, my. Let's all take a step back and appreciate the beauty. There we go, Australia, the Great Sandy Desert, no less, because who would move through that? Um, you know, you could literally cut the game off right here and <clears throat> have an off-map support because there's there's nothing here. You got Perth over here, which was a base, of course, but a port, but you know, no one's invading in Port Headland and marching across the Sandy and Gibson Desert and the Great Victoria Desert to Melbourne. <laughs> so cute. All right. Um, here's the other portion of Australia. It's where all the real people live, Victoria, Sydney. Brisbane, which is where everybody was headquartered out of, pretty much. And then obviously Townsville was a big, uh, a big base as well. Lots of little airfields up there. I guess I should have shown you, shown you Darwin, Darwin, mate. Let's see if we can find Darwin, because you know that got bombed and all. As you can see, Darwin's up at the art, what we would call the arse end of the country. There it is. There, that was probably the, the limit of the uh, the reach of the, the Japanese, I imagine. Um, amazing country up here in the Kakadu reserves and whatnot. All right, islands. So Guadalcanal. We'll check out the Guadalcanal map in a, in a minute. Solomon Sea. Then all of the atolls. And if I can hold this up here, you can see all the atolls here, right? 
And I know this is a long, this is a long video. There is a lot of shit in here, so let's just bear with me, okay? There's the rest of uh, the Japanese islands here. Hokkaido, etc. Honshu, blah blah blah. Some more blue. Lots of blue. Gilbert Islands, there's a reference point for you. Gilbert Islands right there. Okay. And now what happens here is uh, you have a significant number of, I'm gonna pull these task force sheets out. <clears throat> Individual islands, because of the way combat works, most Pacific war games have, you know, a hex or half a hex for these minor islands. And the idea is that, he, you, you know, you can't really do very much with that. So the combat system is built around the ability to move and fight on these smaller islands and allow you to take step losses and retreat and not be kicked off the island in, in one fell swoop. So it gives it a... Another level of detail, perhaps, that for those that want to get that tactical, you now can. I'm looking for, let's see if we can find Guadalcanal here somewhere. Nope. I just have to keep looking. Uh, Guam, there's Guam. And I like that idea. I like the fact that you can actually play out some of these. Now, this would be interesting when they're to fight on this atoll and try and acquire it and hold it. I wonder what strategic value this particular atoll had. I don't, I don't know it specifically. Uh, none of these islands. Are this Bali? <laughs> oh, is Iwo Jima. There you go. The meat grinder. What a tragic tragic place okay here's Guadalcanal so a significant amount of space to work out who is going to control this particular piece of dirt and I'm not going to go through all these so you can see that there's, there's you know dozens and dozens and dozens of maps here and Christmas Island here so basically it's not just all the islands where the battles were fought, it's all the islands where battles could have been fought. And I, I, that, once again, it's giving you that set of choices. But there's even more. There's, there's amazing number. You can hear dogs fighting in the background there. I don't know what's going on. I'm not even going to get into it all, but I doubt there's an island here missing here that we, we shouldn't care about. Uh, the Bataan Peninsula, very interesting, okay. What else, what's this guy here? Panay, don't know that, sounds like something near Indonesia. All right, so that gives you a feel for the maps. Now, lots of charts, right? Allied Air Force bases display. Allied general record chart, put all your chits on and keep track of points and command points and supply points and placement points and you name it. Holding boxes, another task force display. Once again, the large box treatment, lots of big charts and tables. So Japanese task force, air display groups, air carrier groups, Bases and force displays. I'll show you those. There you go. Activated, deactivated, unactivated. That looks kind of that looks kind of a cozy, cozy set of boxes. A little little cramped, perhaps. They also get a general track and another chart there. And then we've got an allied display for carriers. This one actually. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a whole wall just for this just for charts. Look at that. That's a 36, almost a 36 by 24 chart. If not bigger. Insane in the membrane. Alright. Breakdowns. What have we got here? 
Oh, a listing of all the displays, the usual bullshit. And there you go, okay. Breakdowns. Now this is uh, core to the game, but uh, or key to the game, I should say. You're gonna use this for every tactical engagement. Your core, inner ring, outer ring, and uh, w what direction the forces are coming from. That's gonna be great for uh, generating AARs, actually. Withdrawal zones, how uh, folks will remove themselves from surface combat. Some other breakdowns, bits and pieces, and then, of course, the penultimate game turn record track and weather. You saw it here, strategic cycle, game turn cycle, lots of good stuff. So I need to touch base with my uh, person who sold this to me and ask them to send me the rule books because it looks like they forgot to include those in the box. But other than that, and I'm not worried about it, because I uh, you know the guy pretty well. So we'll get them sent separately and it won't be a problem. But as you can see, a monstrous undertaking and a game of this size and scale you absolutely cannot expect to have everything done perfectly on the from the get-go right that's just not how it works these things evolve over time this has now had 13 years to evolve so let's see what happens from here it'll be a while but we'll get to it uh, i thought i'd share all that with you and i hope uh, you enjoyed the look at uh, War in the Pacific from Decision Games.